Hi, this is our second book in our Read Aloud Challenge. It is called Horrible pa Bear by Amy Dykeman and, and illustrated by Zachariah Ahura. Look at the girl's face. Does she seem happy? And look at the writing in the speech bubble. It doesn't seem very calm. She's saying, horrible bear. Hmm. Wanted to show you the title page really quick because here she is flying a kite and it's getting really close to a cave on the top of that hill. What do you think is going to happen to that kite since it's so close to that cave? A girl peeked into Bear's cave. She reached but he rolled. So if you look here, her kite went into the cave and she tried to get it, but what happened? Oh, the bear rolled over and broke the kite. Horrible bear, the girl shouted. The girl stomped down the mountain. Horrible bear! She stomped through the meadow. Horrible bear! She stomped all the way home. Horrible bear! Keep little notes for myself. <laughs> Bear was indignant. Well, that's a big word, indignant. Kind of means, I am not the things you say I am. I am not horrible, he said. She barged in. She made a ruckus. She woke me up. How would she like it if... Bear got an idea. It was a horrible bad idea. Remember in the book we read yesterday, we the word mood was one that I highlighted. Bear seems to be in a different mood now. Do you think he's going to have a good bear idea or a horrible bad idea when he's in this kind of mood? Look at his face and look at how it changes. One two, three, four. Bear practiced barging. He practiced making a ruckus. He practiced waking someone up. The bat squeaked, horrible bear. Perfect, Bear said. Bear stomped out of his cave. The girl stomp the girl stomped into her room. But she was too upset to nap, so the girl tried drawing. Horrible bear. She tried reading. Horrible bears. She tried walking to the best listener she knew. That horrible bear, he broke my... <gasps> Suddenly, her stuffy couldn't listen as well. As before. What did she do out of anger? Did she make a horrible decision? Just like the bear made a horrible decision? I think so. I didn't mean to, the girl cried. Oh. Look at how her face changes. Hmm. Mean 
Meanwhile, Bear stomped down the mountain. Roar, roar, roar. He stomped through the meadow. Roar, roar, roar. He stomped straight to the girl's front door. Roar! We might get some roars of our own. Which opened. I'm sorry, the girl said. And all the horrible went right out of Bear. Bear patted. He wiped. He got another idea. It was a sweet bear idea. Thank you, bear, the girl whispered. She had a sweet bear idea, too. Bear and the girl skipped through the meadow. They bounced up the mountain. And together, so, sticky's a little too sticky. And together, they patched everything up, even the kite. I think they patched up their friendship too think maybe they did. Nothing was horrible at all. For the moment, uh-oh, what is he doing and what is about to happen to that kite? So, really great book, and I think what it teaches us is that when we are angry, when we are hurt, sometimes we don't make the best decisions in the moment. Best to take some time to reflect, and then act. Horrible Bear. Great book.